Hello, hello, hello. It's not fan brushes, but I'm going to tell you something cool today. Hello, I am Silka, Heart for Art. I teach people step by step how to paint online and in my studio and also give awesome painting and art tips. Welcome to this week's episode of Hearty Tips with Silka. Today, I'm going to share a super quick, easy trick with you to fix any brushes that are starting to look a bit tatty and frayed around the edges. If I can hold this one up real close, see how there's some little flyaway ones out to the side. Um, that one's not actually too bad. Uh, this one's got this one's got a, a one. Oh, there's just stray outliers out the side. If you get if your brushes are getting tatty, okay, here's one. This one's really rough. This one's getting really rough. I'm going to show you how to fix that today. And it's super easy and super quick. And I also wanted to let you know my latest blog is online. I got that online today. If you missed it, it is how to use a fan brush. This is a fan brush. Okay, this is many fan brushes. You can only use one at a time. Unless you're ambidextrous, then you can use two. <laughs> um, but my latest blog is now online, how to use a fan brush. If you missed it when I was live, uh, heartforart.co.nz, uh, click on the blog in the menu and you will find that there, along with heaps of other blogginess and helpful tips and painting tutorials and stuff as well. Today, though, uh, I want to show you how to clean up your tatty brushes. Now, the reason I am sharing this with you is because every few months or so, I do a bit of an audit of all the brushes in the studio. People who come to paint with me um, use all my brushes, and most of them are first-time painters. So if you're an artist and you paint regularly, you will look after your brushes because you know that they cost a little bit of money. Um, mind you, there's cheap ones as well, but even so, you look after your brushes, but my first-time painters, they're just there to paint once. They're not as careful as I am with my brushes. Hi, Brenda. How you doing? Good to see you. If anyone else is here, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from today. Um, but yeah, my people who paint with me, they're often first-time painters. They're not so careful looking after my brushes, so they do get a bit tatty and splayed, and the bristles kind of get a bit spread apart, and there's the odd one that just sort of sticks out at random. Uh, they get, you know, bent strands, uh, and often they get like this. You'll see that is not wet paint. That is dry paint. It's gone nice and hard and crusted um, where someone's cleaned the brush and just not cleaned it properly. So, I, I, if I'm going to show you how to fix that. Let me know if you've got this issue. Just type boo, bad brushes or something. <laughs> if this is something that you've got in your brush collection. Rather than throw them away though, I'm going to show you a really quick tip. And that is basically just to give them a haircut. All right. Um, there's other ways to care for your brushes as well and clean your brushes. And if you want more ideas, you can check out my, my other video blogs. Uh, there's one called Proper Brush Care and How to Clean Your Brushes. There's loads of ideas on how to really look after your brushes and make them last a lot longer. Um, but today is a super easy, quick fix. It's kind of similar to when you get split ends. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Am I going to do this now? No. Uh, not without my glasses on. We give our hair a trim, all right? It's super easy. When, when our hair gets straight and tatty, we give it a trim. So it's exactly the same with our brushes. So you can see here, there's a couple of really, woohoo! Wow, there's even a nice curly one there. That's kind of impressive. All I'm going to do is just cut them off. That's it. So simple. Hang on, I'm going to go this way. Just get the, there we go. Look at that. It's like a brand new brush. There's now no outliers and strays on that. And I've totally covered my face up, but that's fine. It's all about the brushes today. Here's another one. Literally just get a nice sharp pair of scissors and give it a trim. It doesn't really matter how far you trim it back. You can sort of catch it on the side and go down and trim. And now you won't have any outlying strays. Because when you're painting... Um, you know, if you've got one bristle that's sticking out to the side, if it gets paint on it, you're going to get this weird little blob of paint somewhere where you don't want it. So this is a really quick, super easy way to fix up your brushes. So let me just do one more because this one's got, can you, sit, can you see that? Look, there it is there, the offending thing. Um, 
Oh, okay, Linda, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yay, happy birthday, Linda. She's just posted it's her birthday today. <gasps> what are you doing to celebrate? Are you having a party? Or oh, maybe a paint party. Yay. All right, let me do one more. There we go. We just catch it with the brush with the scissors, and it's like brand new, brand spanking new brushes. Look at that. Nothing sticking out weird on the side. Brand new brush, much easier to use. Um, I'm not going to do this one. Um, right, well, maybe I will. See how there's so many flyaways there. You just kind of get your scissors in there and you cut them back. I'm twirling this one and I'm just giving it a trim. There we go. So it's a little bit um, better controlled. I'll do that properly later when I've got my glasses on. Um, <laughs> I definitely need to do this to fix my brushes. Yes, it is just a really quick, easy way to fix your brushes. If you've got some other issues and you want more tips, though, like I said, go and check out my other blog, Proper Brush Care, I think it starts off in the title. Um, and there's lots of ways for cleaning brushes and saving wrecked brushes. But this is a quick, easy way. So this one here, this one's got a nice bit of dried paint on top. Um, now, you might think, Oh, that brush is wasted. Um, <laughs> Glinda says she's cut the top before and buggered them. Yes, uh, that was going to be my next point. When you cut the top of them, you need a good, sharp pair of scissors and you need to cut straight. And it pays to hold on to the bristles to hold them in place. All right. So I'm cutting this big bit of dried paint out of the top. Don't cut yourself, though. Hold on to the bristles and hold them tight and then just with a nice sharp pair of scissors oh i'm gonna to have to vacuum later cut right across the top all right just like that so just like that i have a brand new brush there's no more dried paint in there and it's just like a brand new one Yahoo! it's a little bit shorter granted i mean if the paint's all the way in you might end up with a stub but this works um but keep in mind same way as if you paint it, you know, if you're cutting your split ends, you know, if you're doing it for someone else, you're like, oh, no, I went a bit crooked. I have to go a bit more, and then you go up a bit more, and then you go up a bit more, and then you go up a bit more. <laughs> Every time you don't quite get it straight, <laughs> and then they're bald. Well, they've got a bob. <laughs> you don't want to do the same with your brushes. It doesn't matter too much if it's on a slight angle. Um, as long as it's reasonably straight, then you'll be able to, you know, get a nice you, you basically got a brand new brush so there you go um nice and easy and that's it so easy brand new brushes don't throw them away if they're getting a bit fluffy or splayed you know you could have brushes with with little fluffy outliers although that was not too bad um giving them a condition the same way we do with hair as well um often helps as well that's in that proper brush care uh, blog, go and have a look for that on my Hearty Tips with Zilka blog at Heart for Art. Just go to the menu, click on blogs, and you'll find that there. But this one um, is just a super easy tip and just real quick, take you two seconds, and then you've got brand new brushes. Yay! Um, now, if you if you're looking for something to paint with your brand new brushes, right? Uh, if you're in paint club, like some of the people here tonight, we'll be painting snowy mountains soon. Um, but if you would like something to paint, there's heaps on my website. There's on-demand tutorials so you can go and paint something right now. If you want to, using your brand new trimmed and svelte clean looking brushes, uh, they're in the, in the menu as well. Um, so heartforart.co.nz. Go check them out. There's virtual paint parties you can join. There's studio paint parties if you're in Wellington. There's on-demand painting tutorials if you want to paint right now. It's all in the menu. Click on the menu and look for upcoming studio events or virtual events or on-demands. And while you're there, have a good look around the blogs. There's loads of tips uh, and tricks and easy things to learn. This is a really easy one today. Um, so go and have a browse because I just want to help you get the most out of painting. Um, and make it nice and easy for you. Um, it's all easy. Um, and all my paintings are super easy to do as well. So you don't need any experience. They're good for anyone at any level. I just, I love helping people create beautiful art. So I'd love to help you as well. So head on over to my website, go check it out. Oh, I missed. 
Hartfiles or Coded and said, go check out the blogs to learn stuff um, and then go find something to paint on demand, virtual or studio. Loads of fun. So I hope that's helpful. Trimming your brushes. Oh, 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 wait. I see one more. I see one more. I just saw it when I held it up real close. Look at that. That one's sticking out. I don't want that one sticking out. So I can just catch it with my scissors. Yeah, and cut it back. Oh, there's another one. And I see one there as well. Just like that, I've got a brand new brush. Yay. All right, so I hope that's helpful. Thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this little quick tutorial, please do share some loves and likes uh, and pass it on. Tell other people you know who enjoy painting that could benefit from this tip. And if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next tutorials. Um, I think you have to click the little bell thing to get notifications of when I load, uh, when I do new live stuff. So see you next week. Um, oh, thanks, Linda. I'm so glad you're learning so much. Yay. That is my goal, to teach you everything I know a little bit at a time about painting and how to get new brushes today without buying new brushes. Just clean up your old tatty brushes. Super easy, super fun. Um, thanks for joining me and look out for my next episode of Hearty Tips with Silka. Hope to see you at the end of a paintbrush real soon. Bye. <laughs>